Hi guys, HitGuru here. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to configure your HitVision NVR from start to finish. Before we get started, this NVR here has already got a surveillance hard drive pre-fitted. We fitted this in our previous video. If you're unsure of how to fit your hard drive, just click over here or over here and we'll show you how it's done. So let's get started. In your HitVision box you'll have a mouse, power cable, and power transformer. So firstly, let's undo it. our power cable. Take off the plastic cap. You're then gonna plug this end of the kettle lead into your transformer. Plug that into a mains 240 socket. And then let's spin our NVR round. So this is a DS-7604 ni k1 4p so our power cable is going to go into here so we're going to grab our end of this cable and just pop that in there we'll just quickly undo our mouse as well so this is usb mouse you've got a port on the back here or a port on the front i'm just going to pop ours into the back like so undo that power cable a bit right then so now you're going to want to plug your HDMI source in or you've got a VGA source so this will be to your monitor or to your TV so in my case I'm going to plug in a HDMI cable I'm going to grab this and pop that in there and the other end goes to your screen so next we'll get our IP cameras cat 5 cable again this has been pre-wired this is in the one hour one of our previous videos how to put an end on a cat 5 cable if you're unsure of how to do that see that link there I'm going to pop this cable into port 1 on my PoE ports I've only got one camera but you can have up to four cameras on this NVR Next, we've got our LAN port, so that's for our network, so that'll go to your router, or you could use a TP-Link power line adapter. So I'm just gonna grab our network cable that was out of the box in the HitVision box itself. So, grey cable, standard Cat5 Ethernet, into the network port, and that goes to my router. So that's everything at the back of the NVR. You can, of course, neaten it up afterwards do some cable tying etc so now we're just going to turn the power onto the NVR just here you'll hear it start to beep to, to, to boot up should make a beeping sound so that's your post beep and eventually when it does fully boot up if you've got a brand new hard drive fitted it'll constantly beep every few seconds this is just to show that the hard drive isn't initialized yet and is not ready for use so now i'm going to flip the screen over and we'll head over to our monitor right guys now our nvr is powered on this is the first screen that we can see we need to select our language so in our case english click on apply set the resolution to 1080 yes please if your monitor or TV is 4K, I'll show you how to change that later on in the video. Right, so now what we need to do is create a password for your NVR. Preferably, as you can see, you're going to use at least 8 characters. And try to use a capital letter, number, symbol. For this demonstration, I'm just going to create a random password. Try to make it as difficult as possible. As you can see, that's come up strong. What was that now? Camera activation password will use the password that we just created, so we don't need to type anything in there. However, if you do want to make it different, untick this and type in a different password. And then reverse the email. I'm going to leave that blank that's just in case you forget your password 
you can have an email address, an email sent to your email address. So now activate. So now unlock pattern. This will be what you use to unlock the NVR whenever you want to play something back, for example. So I'm just going to set that to you. You for unlock. And just draw it again to confirm. So now we need to set the time zone. So we are UK, so I'm going to set it to GMT 0000. Date format's correct. Time, date is fine. Time is an hour out. And then NTP time sync, I'm going to enable that. So what that will do is it'll check with the internet to make sure the time is correct. So it's never ever a minute out or potentially 20 minutes out. Because over, over a long time, over a long period of time, what you'll find is the minutes will start to drag behind. So then just click on next. If you connected to the internet correctly, you should get a IPv4 address. I'm going to change the DNS to something a little different. To Google's DNS server, so 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And then your alternate will be 8.8.4.4. And next, now this is your hit connect setting, so we're going to enable that. I'm going to tick the box, say agree, click OK. Now your verification code, it's fairly complex. I'll probably keep it something difficult. You'll need to type that in once you've set the NVR to your HitConnect app just to further verify that it is you who's added the device but for this example I'm just going to set it to something basic like QWERTY and confirm and next so here you'll have a list of your IP cameras that are connected we'll come back to that later on next here is your hard drive, so we've got a terabyte drive installed. If it's not already been initialised, you want to tick here. And just click on initialise up here. So here it should say uninitialised, and you're just going to initialise it. Click on OK. And you'll see here your percentage will literally only take a few seconds. You're going to click on Next or Finish. So now we're going to right click, exit full screen, put some configuration at the top, that's this symbol here. I'm going to click on expert mode at the bottom. So now here you can see HDMI resolution, you can change it from your 1080 to 4K if your screen supports 4K. I'm going to leave mine at 1080, let's just correct that system time. 16 apply next let's look on DST settings at the top enable DST set it to auto click apply so what that'll do in the summer and winter it'll change your clock back and forward by the hour for us UK people double check that our platform access is online as you can see here connection status online so that's ready to go for the hit connect up Right, so next up, camera. Let's make sure our camera is online. As you can see, that one camera I plugged in earlier is online. And we're going to go over to display. So here's one thing that so many so-called professional companies fail to do, and it really grinds my gears. So basic, camera name. Set up your camera name. So if you've got a camera at the front, call it front. Camera at the side, call it side, etc, etc. So let's just say front for this one. And then the next thing is the date format. So in the UK, it's day, month, year. But everybody seems to leave it as month, day, year. It's such a little thing, but it makes all the difference. You cannot call yourself a professional installer if you leave in the date format as a foreign format. So here, date format. I'm going to change that to day, month, year. And after doing all that, we're going to click on Apply. And that's that done. So next up, 
we'll go to record. This camera here has got a built-in microphone, so we're going to want to make sure that the record parameters are set to actually record the audio. So for this camera, I'm going to go to advanced here, and then just tick record audio, and then OK, followed by apply. This is obviously set to record 24-7 as well, as you can see here. Next up, go to parameter. If you want the audio to play on your HitConnect app, you're going to want to change the stream type to video and audio, otherwise you're not going to hear anything. And then just click on apply. And next up, that's pretty much all finished for on the screen. So as you can see here, you've got your camera. Just one click thing. If you had, let's say, your camera one, camera two, and then it's no link underneath, on these two that are blank, you can remove these two screens here, so it's not as messy. To do that, just go to Configuration, Live View, View, and then literally just cross off the cameras that don't have anything on them, and click on Apply, and I'll show you what that looks like. So that'll look like that instead. I just think it looks a bit neater, having the brand there, rather than just having no link. So now we're ready for hit connect. So what I would do first, before setting up any motion zones, I'd get the cameras on your hit connect app and then go out with your phone and then adjust the angle of the camera just so you make it perfect. And then after doing that, we can then set up the intrusion zones. So let's exit full screen for now. Go back to system, configuration, go to network, platform access, leave this here until we've downloaded the hit connect app. So you're going to want to go into your web browser if you've got some Android, not the Play Store on this occasion. You're going to search for Hit Connect or Hit Vision App Store. You're going to download Hit Connect for end user from their App Store. If you're on iOS, you're going to just go into the normal App Store and search for Hit Connect, and it'll show up straight away. That's why you buy Apple products. After downloading Hit Connect, simply register in our account. That's in blue, it should say register. Follow it through, you can either register with an email address or mobile phone number. After you've followed through all of the on-screen instructions, you're then going to be presented with a screen with a refresh button and a plus add button. You're going to click on that plus add button and scan this QR code that's on the screen at the moment. So I'll see you over on my phone in just a moment. Right, so now let's scan our QR code that's on our NVR screen with our app. Brings up your NVR straight away. Click on Add. Adding completed. Let's click on Next. Now this is your alias for your NVR. I'm just going to delete that and name it Home CCTV. You can call it whatever you like. Click on Save. And now, as you can see, it's showing up all four cameras, even though I've got one. I think it looks a bit messy having those three other ones saying offline. So let's go into the settings icon, that's a little hexagon on the right hand side. Then click on linked camera and let's press the I symbol on camera two, camera three, and camera four. Now let's go back and back again. So now you can just see it's just the one camera. Let's tap on that front camera. And that's loaded live. Now normally, in the bottom left corner, it'll say basic, not HD. So let me just show you. In basic mode, what that does is it reduces the overall quality of the image, but it loads a lot quicker. So this is, this is especially useful when you're on 3G or 4G. But if you're on Wi-Fi, let's just change it to HD. It'll be a lot sharper. And also, if you've got audio, you'll hear it in HD mode, not in basic mode. You put your phone into landscape mode, it'll fill the screen nicely. You can pinch the zoom just like a photograph. Excuse the plastering work. So let's go back. If you want motion detection to ping to your phone, let's just go into that settings page again. Click on notification. Normally it'll be off by default, like this. So obviously if you want it on, just press on. And that's that. Let's go back. 
if you want to do a manual playback in the top left corner you've got a playback icon you just tap on that and then select the date select the time and then choose what camera you want and then just tap on playback at the bottom but yeah that is pretty much it guys for hit connect setup i'll see you back on the mvr right so now back on the mvr just going to give you a quick tour of how to use it how to play back so if you've got one camera you're probably going to want that as full screen so to do that just double tap on the camera you may need to type in your unlock pattern in my case it was a U. double tap and now it's just one screen in the bottom right corner you've got your full screen button so it would display like this if you wanted to set up intrusion detection you're going to right click tap on exit full screen go to configuration go to event disable the normal motion detection click on apply and now smart event and now select which camera you need to set it up on click on intrusion now what i would recommend if you've got a laptop or a desktop computer windows i set up intrusion detection from there not on the NVR itself as you're rather limited as to what you can actually set up uh, if you do have a laptop click on this video right over here and that will guide you through a very detailed process of how to set up intrusion detection however if you don't have a laptop or computer whatsoever and this is your last resort then you'll have to set, a, set it up on the NVR so to do this let's tap on enable and then you want to click on draw area so let's say i just wanted this area over here you're going to tap there click again you're going to need four points so that will create your zone so that is your perimeter so anybody that walks into that perimeter will trigger once you're happy with the area just click on stop drawing and on the right hand side we've got time threshold so that is the amount of time in seconds the object has got to be in your perimeter before it triggers so i'm going to leave it at zero and you've got sensitivity just leave it at 50. if you find it triggers too often at things that shouldn't be triggering try reducing the sensitivity if you find it's not triggering enough increase it and then on this one because it's an accusense camera we've got target detection so we can either have human detection or vehicle detection or both then we've got linkage action up here if you want it to trigger to hit connect up click on here and just make sure that notify surveillance center is enabled and click on apply but yeah that is pretty much it again just uh go outside test the test the zone make sure it is triggering to your phone if not maybe have a fiddle with these settings but as i said it is a lot better to configure it from a laptop or computer as there's much more configuration aspect that you can do on there uh, so now on the NVR if you want to let's say playback you've got the playback button up here on the top menu tap on that you've got your list of cameras on the left hand side so here you would tick which camera you want so that's my front camera then you've got the calendar below so all the dates that have a dot beneath them are dates that have been recorded so you're just going to tap on the date you want and that will start to play from midnight on that day and then you simply got your time bar at the bottom here the time in blue is the time that's been recorded obviously it's only just started recording now but normally you would just scroll like this you've also got your fast forward button down here so you can two times it four times eight times just in case you want to look through footage a lot quicker and to go back to your live view my view button back to full screen bottom right button and that is everything guys if you need any further help whatsoever just drop your comment down below and i'll get back to you if you've got any more suggestions for further videos let me know and i'll get those made for you but yeah take care guys bye bye